Alrighty then, here we are, Successful Indie Author 5-Minute Focus, episode 345. There's Stanley, he's hanging out watching me. He saw a moose in the yard, and uh, needless to say, he's a little bit anxious. So, anyway, here we are, asking for advice. The, the problem with asking for advice is you're going to get it, uh, and people will give you all different kinds of advice, and it'll be chaos. So if you if you want to ask for advice, I suggest you just do like a random post saying, "Give me advice on something." Doesn't need to be. It doesn't matter what it is, because that's about the value of just asking for advice. Now, as for information, this is where you're going to get the best and most useful stuff, and this is what we're trying to get and what we've been trying to do with uh, 20 books of 50k is when people ask for advice, should I do this or not? People are going to tell you, yes, people are going to tell you no, and that's not helpful at all. But what you want is information. Has anyone done this with these? Here's what I'm trying. Has that worked? That kind of uh, approach to getting information that you can then gin down to a decision point for yourself and say, yes, do this. No, don't do that. That's the difference between asking for information or asking for advice. If, if advice, people will tell you, yes, do that. And uh, even though we discourage that in 20 books of 50K, people can't help themselves. They are going to give you their opinion. So, uh, and, and me included, I've done it as well. Hey, should I do this? I, I wouldn't. That's how I try to answer the questions. I wouldn't do that, and here's why. Uh, know the source of your bona fides. So when you get advice from people, and even if 9 out of 10 give you one set of advice, take a look. What do those people know about your exact situation? What do they know about this topic? What do they know about the overall business of what you're trying to accomplish. So I suggest they probably don't know as much as you do. And I don't think anybody does. So what information would help build a, build those gaps for you to make the best decision possible? So when people say they make an educated guess, what does that mean? That means they've got a lot of information and it has swayed their decision-making pro process towards one conclusion because that's the preponderance of the evidence they have at their command lets them do that. So in the end, it will always be your decision. So it's easy for people to say, yes, do this. No, don't do that. Go for it. Uh, you got this. You're the one who's responsible. They have zero responsibility. They have zero financial liability. They have zero anything besides trying to help. And that's when you ask for advice. They're, they're trying to help. So I'm not denigrating anyone, but be, take care. Uh, I try not to give advice. Here's what I would do. Here's what I did. Here's what uh, I did that didn't work. That's even more important, knowing how, how what uh, the failure points are in a certain course of action. So when you finally do make your decision, embrace it and give it your best effort. And if it doesn't work, adjust and make a different decision and move forward. Uh, not all decisions work great. Uh, sometimes uh, a decision has uh, wasted a lot of your time, a lot of your effort, a lot of money. And if it's the wrong one, guess what? You only have one choice. You need to re-wicker it as opposed to doubling down and losing more time, more effort, and more money. So what is right? Here you, here you know what's wrong. As Thomas Edison said, he knows, what, 1,200 ways not to make a light bulb. But he only needed one. So make corrections, adjust, and keep moving forward at your pace with a process that works for you because only you know what your approach is and what drives you and what you're capable of doing. Don't get in over your head by it because people say, yeah, you got this, you got this. You can write 10,000 words today. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, no, unless, unless you know for sure you can. It, you might not want to embrace that because you're setting yourself up to fail. Don't do that. Take the information. Make the best decision you can for your situation and move forward. And if it doesn't work, that's fine. Now you know how not to do it. Make a different decision next time with more information. Refine your question. But uh, be, uh, be hesitant about asking for advice because the worst thing that could happen is you get it. Peace, fellow humans.